All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, Podcast Nation. Another lovely episode of Legacy Wealth Advantage Podcast uh, Mastery Mind Edition. Edition, edition, edition. I don't have the sound effects, so I got to do the. <laughs> I got to do the sound effects. Um, but no, for real, guys. Welcome back, to Legacy Wealth the Podcast. My name is Coach Q, aka Quentin Edwards, uh, the proud owner of Legacy Wealth Advantage Agency. We're a final expense corporation or company, excuse me, uh, looking to go to the next level. More importantly, this is Mastery Mind Podcast, a channel that I made to not only incorporate the brand that we're building here as far as entrepreneurship, but people who are awake. This vision started back um, deeper ago. Uh, it's been about a year now since the podcast was growing slightly but surely. Just haven't been pumping a lot of brand into it. We're just growing slightly but surely organically. Uh, I'm going to just put out content, content, content and allow those who are really, I guess, true friends find the channel between our website, which is www.legacywealthadvantage.com, through medias, well, all major platforms Facebook at Legacy Wealth Advantage, YouTube at Legacy Wealth Advantage. Um, Instagram, CoachQ123, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, if you haven't followed us, follow us. If you're interested in seeing what I'm look like, I'm not hiding. <laughs> I just do the podcast channel because it's easier for podcasts based off the fact that um, I'm slowly but surely hiring staff to be able to help me produce more efficiently and effectively to get in front of listeners such as yourself right now. Uh, this podcast channel started with... A vision on wanting to help those who are struggling to awake. My awakening experience is tying my philosophies into one of my favorite movies, The Matrix. Uh, you know, finding out who you are as far as being the one. The whole path that Neo had to walk between um, understanding the limitedness, limit, limitness, limit. Yeah, am I saying it right? Limitness of unlimitedness of the i don't even think that's a word of the brain the brain has no limits it only its only limits is its user once you awake and have been truly awakened there's nothing you can't do so this channel is more than just a brand for what we do what we do is obviously a big part of it because it is the first step to Literally not what we've been through, but what we're currently going through. Because I didn't want to wait till I was at the top to express viewpoints from the top. Let me talk to you while I'm at the bottom. Let me talk to you on the way up. And let me talk to you when I made it. That way you can get all different perspectives of who I am, what the journey was, and how everything worked out. So I'm going to determine, guys. As long as, God forbid, something doesn't happen to me on the way up, I know for a fact I'll be successful. Between my affirmations, my dreams, my goals, and my desires, nothing's going to stop me. Not even failure. So, uh, today, let's see here. Got a lot of topics for the day. I think I chose the topic of how to get out the rat race. I've been reading a lot of, well, first of all, I've been reading again instead of just listening to audio books. And I definitely encourage you to get the written word. Audio books are good only if you're listening to the book two or three times. Um, nothing sticks like written word and verbal, uh, no, nothing sticks to your brain like written content, written visual content. That's why I was, I don't know why I said verbal. Um, you see it in writing, you write it yourself, you listen to it, and then you repeat it. Those are the best ways I've taught myself, and I'm not... I guess a learning guy until I realized what I wanted to do in life because I sucked at school. <laughs> as much as I studied to be a successful entrepreneur, I would have been halfway decent with schools as in school as a CB student. But you got to study what you're interested in, people. I study, I study how to be an entrepreneur, I study how to be a sales salesman, I study how to be a leader, I study how to be a better person, I study how to be a better studier. It takes skills to learn how to study. So rereading uh, the cash flow quadrant, I've done, I think, two podcasts on it now, slash the actual video on the YouTube channel. Again, that's Legacy Wealth Advantage. You can type us in, it will pop up. We got all of our actual visual videos, slash all the podcasts on YouTube as well. And we're just, well, iTunes and uh, iHeartRadio now. So 
As I know, we're expanding a little bit. Still got a lot of work to do. I can't get there without you guys, though. So I appreciate your help. So, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, if you haven't listened to any of my channels recently, he's a guest. Changed my life. I uh, used the first book I ever read, Rich Dad Poor Dad, one of the, uh, or the first actual book in the series that just, wow, man, my God, just changed my life. I mean, for a lot of people, specifically entrepreneurs, one of those books like Think and Grow Rich, right? A classic. For me, it was Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Remember exactly where I read it. Can't remember exactly what time, but I can give you a good estimate of it. Because, I mean, I was at work. <laughs> and I know what shift I was working. And opening up that book and reading just gauge up tripping. Is this real? Somebody pinch me vibes. It changed my life. And uh, rereading. I w- I'm not rereading Rich Dad Poor Dad. I'm rereading the cash flow quadrant. Because I want to get a little bit more uh, fixated experience on some business idea. Sure enough, it's been stimulating my mind. I've been thinking, I've been understanding, the vision is getting clear, the future is brighter and more exciting. I mean, it's just awesome. It just goes back to the entitlement of thinking grow rich. Everybody wants to know what the secret sauce is that he's talking about through all chapters. Once you figure it out, you'll be forever. Just think, people. Think for yourself. Understand what an ideal is. Not only about putting it on paper, but putting action to the paper. So, um, one of the things Robert always talks about is the rat race. I think the first book I ever read about, because Robert talks about it a little bit, uh, or a lot, but just not directly, was uh, a book called Who Moved My Cheese. It was actually need to reread that as well. I remember a lady, a very successful lady, gave me the book, and I'm I'm blessed that she did. Actually, I need to go highlight her about that um he gave me that book and I was young when I read it I was like maybe 15 16 and I wasn't a reader by any means back then and I just realized how powerful that book was she was trying to get me uh, open my mind to stimulate my my ideals specifically at a young age and it kind of worked it kind of didn't uh, but now going back to read who moved my cheese which is another classic by the way <sighs> Definitely talks about the rat race. <laughs> I think he's the original creator of it. Uh, don't mark my words on that, but uh, for me, he is. He or she, whoever wrote the book, can't even name the author. Um, but the rat race is it's a never ending trap of insanity that most, when I say most, 95% of America falls in. So if you're one of those people listening to this, what are you doing to get out the rat race? You know, I've been recruiting people to come on board of my opportunity for about. <sighs> Good year and a half, go to two and a half, a little second now, right? And one of the things that people are always look for is security, point blank, which has actually encouraged me to hire staff and 1099 commission agencies and packages coming up in the future to help develop people into the independent contractor side. Because my God, my God, what a time it is to be independent right, right now we don't have a problem with job security or what we're going to do other than what we've always been doing go to work look for business find people right business make money feed your family take care of your dreams and goals and do it all over again until you get to a certain point now uh, don't get me wrong the industry you have to go above and beyond to get out of the rat race but the picture specifically with our plan and strategies uh, strategic strategies that we put in place for all of our agents, 1099 full agents, to be successful and they have the opportunity. It's up to you to actually accomplish it, to get out of the rat race. Very exciting, very compensating, very rewarding. Um, all of it is based off the mirror of we should all be scared of shitless. We should all be aware of the fact that life is life. It can hit you in all type of angles, ways, and perspectives. If you're not ready for it, You'll be fucked. Just point blank. I'm using big boys and girls and worlds words with you. You'll be fucked if you're not ready for. I mean the transparency transparency uh, that life will hit you with. Cause life don't give a damn if you just lost somebody, and um, now you about to lose somebody else, or your life got in danger, or 
Um, you can't pay bills because you lost your job. 20, I think almost almost 30 million, I think it's 22 people are out of work. I mean, these are depression statistics and statuses. I mean, this isn't good. Again, what a time to be an independent 10 to 9 contractor selling life insurance. We've seen spikes. We've seen attention raise. We've seen no big difference in the fact that our businesses are running normal. The only thing that would affect our business is people not collecting their social security checks. And, oh, God. Just imagine, excuse me, I actually yawned while doing the podcast. <laughs> I'm human, sorry. Um, imagine the hell that would cause. I mean, it's going to come one day. From a millennial perspective that I'm spitting to you today, it's going to come, trust me, but no time soon. So our main clientele, who are people on Social Security and Disability and get a guaranteed check from the government each month, um, we're good. We go on and collect and find business per usual. And we've been moving forward per usual. If you need an opportunity, now this isn't for everybody, independent contractors, specifically with our agency, we're looking for them the five percenters, right? The people that are going to actually want to put in the work and understand what that means to be a successful 1099 independent contractor with our agency. Not those who just want to give it a try because there's anything else to do. It ain't going to work for you. Now, that doesn't mean don't try Try everything in life, right? Find your why. Find your purpose. But um, if you're going to play around with it, you got to pay hard or you're not even going to make it past the first month because it's, it's not a game. You got to know what it is, what you're doing and why. And if you don't, you'll get lost in the shuffle. And that does nothing but slow time and wait time for everybody, including yourself. So watch it. Watch what you're doing. Understand what you're doing. It's not a game of this type of business that we're playing, but it is a great opportunity for you to evolve and uh, really see, your, you know, you see yourself going in life. It's more about just the money. It's a lot of things that can come with it. So, how do you get out of the rat race? I've talked to thousands of people uh, over my two and a half years of recruiting for my agent. And, um, you know, I've talked to a lot of big profile people, or at least people that made quite a lot of money as far as they want to, you know, just their best years in life. And uh, a lot of them. Had a good year and then didn't rebound from that good year because of taxes. Or they had a good year and can do it consistently. Or they had a good year and some type of life emergency came up. You know, it's a different story where you can make two, three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars and not have to go to work for it. You still can make at least uh, over 60, 70 percent of it at least. Right. The goal is to still make 100 percent. But it's tough. It's tough. That's real financial freedom. I've talked to a lot of salesmen, that specific car salesmen that make a lot of money. I say, oh, look, that's cool. You make $200,000 that year. What would you do if you didn't go to work for 80% of it? 80% of money would disappear. Holy, oh, shit. I didn't think that that would happen. Did you? Of course I did. Uh, yeah. So you make, a lot of money. you make a lot of money. That's awesome. Can you keep a lot of money? Can you reinvest that money real quick? Can you not have to pay 40-50% of taxes on that money Phew, Tough to do Meaning what? They're making a lot of money On paper Not in reality How do you get out the rat race in the insurance industry? It's pretty simple It's pretty simple One, my big fundamental thing that I always tell people Work your ass off for 3-5 to five years This is our plan, our track, our goal For all of our 1099 agents that want to be hungry Getting this thing, hit it we don't want you in the field forever. You need to be in the field forever, but unless you just love it. Get in the business. The younger, the better. That's why our main targeting goals are anywhere between, anybody between the ages of 22 and 38. That's who we're searching for. That's who we're hungry for. The younger you are, the better. The easier it is to reprogram. The uh, less you got to be screwed, not only just based off time, but based off the uh, subconscious mind needing to be programmed, reprogrammed. So, we like to take 22 to 28 year olds in and have them financially free by age 40. Easy. Easy. Just because you're 40 doesn't mean it's true, though. Be a Colonel Santa store. 
So we have to go in for three to five years of life, work your ass off, build your residuals up, build your own book of business up. That way, when we start having you move into some more sophisticated things to do as far as expansion goals and ideals, it's easy at that time. First of all, we can sit down, think, construct a plan, and organize some things, and you don't have to worry about, well, oh, I need to go to work, well, oh, I need to go to work. You know, your book of business is going to pay you the, a five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars plus tech check. Now, your next ideology needs to be either, are you going to build an agency with us, which obviously we help you do with all our resources, or are you going to... Getting the more sophisticated products with us, which are the annuities, the ULs, uh, and the investment portfolio out of insurance. Or do you want to move to a Medicare ideal uh, in portfolio? We got about basically a 90% final expense portfolio. You need to be awesome at your niche, which is self-final expense life insurance. That's it, point blank. We have a little bit of traditional regular life insurance to sell, <clears throat> but... Uh, it's not a lot. It's with just about one or two companies. Um, you're a final expense agent if you're with us. Easier policies to issue, easier to understand as far as the terminology, and um, easier clientele to deal with. So we can also expand you into a um, Medicare agency. We're in partnership with one of the biggest Medicare uh, agencies in the southeast Georgia or comp, uh, region and uh, easily moving you from a final expense agent to a Medicare and uh, Medicaid agent. My God, I mean, you are talking to the perfect clientele every day. It's just about asking one or two extra questions and the difference between making a mid, low, or high six-figure salary easily going to a high seven to uh, possibly eight-figure salary. And then obviously the agency is the guaranteed way of you being able to pour into people, build them up, and show them independentness as well, which is an exciting thing to do if you're ready for it. And um, we have that lucrative contracts to be able to help you build a team with them being able to be, being able to get paid as well. So exciting stuff, right? Life insurance has multiple not even just life insurance the insurance industry has multiple streams of residual incomes all of them start with your main niche if you ask anybody that's making seven to eight figures in this industry they'll tell you that yeah i mainly started in either mortgage protection pc final expense uh back in the day it was debit and credit but those kind of agencies don't really exist anymore uh, those are the real main ones right there pc mortgage protection final expense and uh, make sure I'm not forgetting the PC mortgage. I feel like I'm forgetting one. <clears throat> Those are the main ones, though. So, uh, and then from there, they branched off. Oh, of course, the Medicaid and Medicare, health insurance. Um, very lucrative products. A lot more difficult to understand. Continuous education. Um, way more stricter if you fuck up oh my god you could possibly spend time in jail or pay huge fines different industry different ball game that's why we don't start people off on that track because it's a beast we want you to get in make some money understand the terminology the clientele how it works that way when if you want to make that smooth transition into getting a residual earning um it's just a switch of a finger like i said plus by that time you'll have some residuals coming in from your book of business with your final expense clientele that when you step away to learn the trade of the game you're not suffering putting your family in danger trying to learn a new skill and maybe sucking at it for the first month or two etc so um we got some exciting stuff in this industry it's exciting stuff that's what i was calling exciting stuff you know what oh, shit i forgot to ring the bell oh. 20 minutes in, but god damn it, I gotta ring it. <laughs> hey, look, um, I ain't gonna be long. I just had something to spit to you about what it is that's gonna help you get out of the rat race. The insurance industry is a very powerful industry. You need to educate yourself on it. If you're interested in what we can offer you, hit us up. I would love to send you some information. I would love to talk to you face to face, Zoom, whatever we gotta do on the phone. Uh, it's only one way to do this, which is to do it. 
right? Uh, There's a lot of powerful people in this industry. The financial service industry, which is basically the insurance industry, is a um, the most self-made millionaires in the United States uh, because there's just so many ways you can go with it. You can do what I want to do, which is build you a successful final expense agency, pour into people, help people build, uh, which is exactly what I'm doing now. And then from there, take all my profits and put them into things like commercial real estate, the business ideals and uh, realities that I have. Or you can just keep expanding in the same industry because, like I said, so many different fundamental streams. The only thing that people fuck up on, even outside of the industry, is you get too excited. You make a little six-figure book uh, book of business with final expense, and then you try to jump into PC. Like, no. Jump something that's efficient. Going from final expense to Medicare is an easy switch because, again, you're already in front of the right people. You can go from final expense <clears throat> to selling everything. I mean, that's a big, big jump. And a lot of people, they just, I'm being honest with you, they, they mess up. Some people push through it because they think they have to shuffle of everything. It's just because you have to shuffle of everything. It's like, what are you going to leave with? You got to leave with something. You can't go to somebody and say, look, I got everything. You need auto life, or P, uh, um, car insurance. You need life insurance. Shit, you're going to confuse them by the time you get done. Same with everything that you got, and they're gonna be like, I don't know what he just said, but I, I don't think I need none of it. That's what they're gonna say in the back of the back of their head the whole time you spitting off what you got. So, there's many efficient ways for you to get out of the rat race. Um, there's many different career expansion ideals and goals. The reality of it is real. Not only do you make a lot of money by yourself if you want to just be a loner, um, even if you're just a loner for all. 10, 15, 20 plus years, or maybe you do this for 5 or 10 years, and then retire, and just live off your residuals, don't build a team, don't get into this, and don't get into that, that's fine, it's possible, we make a lot of money up front, more importantly, we what we do to make a lot of money in the back end, through our residual checks, but, unless you're just going to write a shitload of business every single year, two, three, two or 300 plus thousand dollars in annualized premium, uh, the f- comfortability of that taking care of your retirement for the rest of your life yeah, I wouldn't say it's slim to none but it's tough depending on how old you are Um, the security comes from the fact of you putting in a duplicatable system to ours, which obviously if you're deeply invested in with us we show you that system to a Zach T of what it would take to help you get out of the rat race. Again, we just have a system. It's up to you to dive into it. Uh, we don't sell it or anything like that. Just nurture or um, uh, uh, blend it into the culture that you're investing your time, money, energy, and efforts into to make sure that you're going to be successful with us. So. Uh, that's something that's just interesting to you. You make a lot of money. You're doing good. Which you probably are. You're doing good. Then better than the average um, American. But again, are you doing this better than average, or are you doing this to be financially free? It's questions you got to ask yourself. Are you making three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a year and satisfied with that? For one, if you are, you aren't doing anything. I hope you know that. But Two. What happens if something happens to you? Do you continue to make that? What do you have to decide? What keeps it going? A lot of people may or may not be listening to this and have something officially already in place as far as that system. Obviously, a lot of people who are listening to this won't. So, yes, we can help you get out the race. Yes, this industry is uh, made and proven to help you get out the rat race. It's just a definitive winning system that is going to help you get out the rat race. And yes, it is possible. Hit us up, www.legacywealthadvantage.com. Thanks for listening, people. Rung the bell late, and I'm ringing it again. Class is over.